What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? T to the M to the IDD. It is 2022. I did not get a chance to review my Nikon D850 in 2021. So I had to come and make a video that talked about the D850 in 2022. Now, this is gonna be a quick video, straight to the point, and I hope that it helps somebody. Now, a little bit of backstory about the D850. I bought it in 2020, October, for $1,500. Hey, yo! And it was absolutely a steal. I, I never found the camera at any cheaper price and even currently it is still going for about two thousand dollars used and if you get it new you can still pay more so in terms of price for me i'm absolutely happy <laughs> that i got it at that price for when i did get it now 2020 towards the end 2021 for primarily the whole year this was my camera I had the D800, but this is what I upgraded to, and this did not leave my side. Now, of course, the 45.7 megapixels is, I'm, I'm at a loss for words because when I made that upgrade, I didn't understand how much of a beast this camera was. Everybody talked about it, and I see why this camera was like one of the best. It, it even had people from other brands willing to make the switch just to get this camera. So that tells you how good of a DSLR this was and still is in 2022. A lot of people are going mirrorless and that's for several different reasons. I'll probably make another video on the reason why I went mirrorless getting the Nikon Z72. Now in terms of stills, 45.7 megapixels give you so much flexibility with cropping your different images. You can't complain. Of course, we all know that Nikon Color Science is just phenomenal, to say the least. Out of the camera, JPEGs, the colors are beautiful. So the focus system is, 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 is actually good. Depending on the lens that you use, you know, Sigma's a little soft around the edges sometimes, but the native Nikon glass, it hits every time. Now, this is where I have kind of a problem with this camera is the video. They, they you know, Nikon tried to step up the video game, giving us 4K 30 frames per second in this camera, but when you look at Nikon and Sony, Fuji, Panasonic, to be honest, I have to be absolutely honest with this, is that the video just still isn't there for me in the Nikon D850. Now, when you talk about the mirrorless, Nikon did a great job advancing and bringing some great video quality into those cameras. But to be honest, in this D850, the 4K is, is good, but it's not really competing to the point where I would actually use this in 4K. I would still probably settle for the HD and then also just primarily stills. Like I use Sony for video most of the time, but now that I have the Z7 II, I am willing to use that for video. So Nikon for stills, the D850, I will not hesitate on telling you to get this. And just to add a little bit more, I'll show you some of the images throughout this video of what I've been able to take with this. And also I did a comparison with this, with the Z7 II and to be quite frank, a lot of people saw minimal to no difference in the picture quality. So that lets you know how good of a camera this is. Now, if you could pick this up and you still want to use DSLRs, which is the reason why I still have this, I'm not, I probably won't let this go. This is how great the camera is. But if you are in the market and you are looking for a DSLR, that is going to give you that performance and that great quality 
get the D850. 2022, you see the images I made in 2020, 2021, 2022, comparison with the Nikon Z7 II. You make the call, you see the difference, but I'm going to tell you, D850 is still valid, still solid, still producing great quality in 2022. And I'm gonna leave it up to you. That's, that's all I have to say. That is all I have to say. You see it. T to the M to the I D D. Peace.